But first, tonight at 6, an Augustana student athlete is suspended from all athletic activity after he was arrested over the weekend. The latest on the investigation right now. Good evening, an Augustana University student athlete is behind bars tonight facing several charges. Sioux Falls Police arrested 19-year-old Peyton Zabel early Saturday morning after investigators say he drunkenly walked into a woman's unlocked room. Kel Lance, Sarah McDonald was there as Zabel made his first court appearance. Sarah? Sammy, if the name Peyton Zabel sounds familiar, you might remember him as a former peer standout athlete. The Milwaukee Brewers also selected him in the 19th round of the MLB draft. He turned down the offer for the Brewers to play college football and baseball for the Vikings. The Augustana athlete now faces four counts of first degree burglary and one count of simple assault. About 4.30 Saturday morning, Sioux Falls police were called to a room on Augustana's campus on the 2300 block of South Grange Avenue. Police say an 18-year-old woman was sleeping in her unlocked room when she woke to somebody in her bed. It was a guy. She said the guy ended up kind of grabbing hold of her and pulling her towards him. Um, he kind of made some comments. She had no idea. Uh, initially who it was. Police say 19-year-old Peyton Zabel grabbed her and wouldn't let go. Eventually he did let go and then she ran out of her room to a neighbor's room and then ended up calling police. When security arrived, Zabel was reportedly still in her bed and wouldn't wake up. Clemens said Zabel had a blood alcohol level of .163. They tried to wake him up and weren't able to get him awake, so the ambulance took him to the hospital. Once there, then he was able to, I guess he came to, I'm not sure exactly what was going on, but he said he really didn't know what happened at all. At his initial court appearance, the judge gave Zabel a $5,000 cash or surety bond. He'll have a preliminary hearing in 15 days. According to a release from Augustana, he's been suspended from athletics until the investigation is done. You can read that full statement under this story on Kelloland.com.